Welcome to all level physics online. In this video, the concept that will be discussing with us is going to be calculations involving microscopes and telescopes. And by the end of this video, you should be able to state the formula for calculating a magnification of both a compound microscope, simple microscope, and as well as that of um, telescopes, that is astronomical telescope to be precise. And the first thing I'm going to do is I will first state those uh, formula for calculating each one of them before I will go to that of the calculation aspect. So let's take it one after the other. So the formula, the, the following formula should be noted regarding uh, optical devices or microscope and compound microscope as, as I've stated it before. The first one we have is for a, a simple microscope. Remember from my previous video that a simple microscope is still the same thing as that of um, um, magnifier or the same thing as just a single a single uh, convex lens. So what you should just know there is that the formula for calculating its magnification is given by the formula m equals to 1 plus d over m, where d is the same thing as least uh, distance of clear or distinct uh, vision. And the, the value of it, whether it is given in the question or not, if your question requires making use of uh, d, which is least distance of distinct vision, uh, the value of d is always 25 uh, centimeter. And the second thing that we have here, which is f, is this the same thing as well, the focal length of the lens. So generally, this formula is just given by m equals to 1 plus d over f. Now, the second formula we have is the formula used for calculating the magnification of a compound microscope. Uh, magnification of a compound microscope is given by the formula m equals to d over f naught multiplied by l over f e. Now, what you should note about this one is that, if you can remember, when I was discussing... Uh, uh, calculation involved and um, when I was discussing compound microscope I mentioned that the we have two lenses for compound microscope the first one we have is called the objective lens and that is the one close to the object that you tend to magnify then we have what you call the eyepiece or ocular lens the eyepiece or ocular lens has its own focal lens as well that's the second lens that we have close to the eye and that's where you're going to place the your eye when you are making use of a compound microscope so this the focal length of the first one which is the uh, IP, uh, objective lens is given by uh, f naught why that of the eyepiece is having its own focal length taken as what well, fe so we have if you check all this uh, quantity i'm having here now the meaning of d here is still the same thing as least uh, distance of distinct vision, which I've mentioned earlier, and that is the same thing as 25 centimeter. Also, we have L. The value of L here is this the same thing as length of the uh, microscope, length of the uh, microscope. So, there are two things they can call it. They can call it length of the microscope, that is compound microscope, or the distance between the lenses of the, uh, of the microscope compound microscope to be precise then the second thing we have is what uh f naught which is focal length of the objective lens then we have fe and that is the same thing as what the focal length of the eyepiece now the next thing you should just notice that the value of this l how do we calculate the value of the focal length the focal length is simply the same thing as what f naught plus fe i mean sorry the value of length or length of the microscope is just the same thing as what l equals to f naught plus fe now, what is another point you should just note here again is that this formula I'm having here is also the same thing as what? It's the same thing as angular magnification. They can call it ordinary magnification or they can still call it what? Angular magnification. And that's another very important point you should note about this one. Then the, the last point that you should note about this formula again is that this formula holds when you are dealing with... Uh, what's it called normal adjustment when you are at normal adjustment the value of magnification is still the same thing as z over f naught multiplied by l over F -A -R -F -E. remember under normal adjustment one of the main points that i mentioned then is that it is when you form image at infinity when the image form is at infinity that's when we have normal normal adjustment and the, another point is that at another at the normal adjustment the focal length of the eyepiece is always equal to the focal length of the what of the objective lens. Just remember that if you are preparing for exam, it's one of the common questions you see in one egg pass question. So focal length of the eyepiece and that of the objective lens will be equal to each other at the normal adjustment. That's another point that you should note about this one. And the third equation we have uh, is uh, that of a formula for calculating magnification of a telescope or angular magnification of what of telescope. 
and that is this for most of the time when you come across the pass question based on syllabus is that of uh, astronomical telescope to be precise now under this one the formula for calculating magnific magnification is just m equals to f uh naught that is focal length of the objective lens divided by focal length of the eyepiece focal length of objective lens divided by focal length of the eyepiece and it is very very important that you take note of uh, this one because we have a series of questions that we'll be looking at later involving uh, this one and we are having two f not f not and f e a or f o and f e a because remember for both compound microscope and astronomical telescope they have two lenses so the first lens is for the objective where the second one is what the ocular lens or we call it what the eyepiece so the focal length of the objective of the objective lens is f not why that of the what eyepiece is the same thing as what f e uh just like the first one if you are required to calculate the length of the telescope or you are required to calculate the distance between the eyepiece and that of the ocular lens and, the, and that of the objective lens the formula for it l is also the same thing as the l that i have cited in the second formula that i mentioned l is simply the same thing as addition of focal length of the objective lens to that of the world to that of the eyepiece and that's what you have regarding this one now let's look at some of the sample problem that we have under this one the first question i'm having here is uh, an, astro an astronomical telescope is in its normal adjustment. So the first key point you should know here is that when they mention normal adjustment, the interpretation of it is that that is it forms the image at the infinity. Now, if the focal length of the eyepiece of the lens, rather, if the focal length of the objective lens is 40 centimeter and that of the eye is 4.5 centimeter, what is the distance between the lenses? So, to solve this one, the first thing you have to do is what? We need to mention out the parameter given to us. In the question, the first parameter we have is, if the focal length of the lens is 40 cm, meaning focal length of the objective lens equals to 40 cm, as you can see from here like this. So, we have F0 equals to 40 cm. And that of the eye is what? 4.5 cm, meaning that of the eyepiece equals to what? 4.5 cm, as opposed to the eyepiece. Now, from this, we are required to calculate the distance between the lenses. So, what is the formula for calculating distance between the lenses from what I mentioned before? So, I guess I mentioned it then that the distance between the lenses, which is the same thing as L, is the same thing as what? Addition of the focal length of the objective lens to that of the uh, eyepiece. So, that's the same thing as F0 plus FE. So, simply, all you just have to do is that you add the value of these two together. And very important point you must notice that in case you are given a question that they are not having a concurrent or the same unit, you must convert and ensure that two of them are having the same unit. But this time around, the value of F0 is 40 cm and the second one is 40 cm, meaning they share the same unit. So all you just have to do in this case, just add the value of the two together and that's going to be 40 plus 4.5. And that shows that the length or the distance between the lenses, the, le the distance between the objective lens and that of the eyepiece equals to a 44.5 cm. So it's as simple as that. Now the second question we have is, calculate the magnifying power of a simple uh, microscope whose focal length is 15 cm. Now look at it, as we mentioned towards the type of device that we are dealing with, and that is simple microscope. So what is the first parameter given to us in the equation? We are given the uh, focal length, and that is 15 cm. And remember, it is always constant, the value of D, that is uh, least distance or uh, least distance of distinct vision. The least position where you can see object at relaxed without straining your eye, D equals to 25 centimeters. And the formula we have for calculating a magnification of a simple microscope from what I've shown up before, before is a 1 plus D over F. 1 plus D over F, where D is same thing as 25 cm and F is same thing as focal length. Just substitute the value of 2, you are going to have M to be equal to 1 plus 25 cm, which is D, divided by what? The focal length, which is 15. So from this one, you can have the value of it to be same thing as what? 25 divided by 15, which will give us 1.6 cm. The two units we cancel out, then you can have the value of M now to be equal to 1 plus 1.67 half cm. So, and adding this up is going to give us 2.27 uh, centimeter. So, the interpretation is that if you are using uh, a, micro, a microscope, simple microscope, or just hand lens or magnifier to view object, whose and the focal length, <clears throat> and the focal length of that a simple microscope is 15 centimeter, automatically it's going to magnify the object to 2.27 times the its initial size. And that's what you should note about this one. Then, the third question we have is. An astronomical telescope is in its normal adjustment. I guess I mentioned this one earlier. The image is formed at infinity. The focal length of the eyepiece equals the focal length of the objective lens. Now, if the 
Focal length of the objective lens is 3.5 cm. Focal length of objective lens is 3.5 cm. And that of the eyepiece is 5 cm. Calculate the magnifying power of the telescope in its normal adjustment. So to do this one, the two parameters have been given to us already. What are the two parameters? The focal length of the objective lens, that is f0 equals to 3.5 cm as you can see from here. And the focal length of the eyepiece is 5 cm, it has been given to us as well. And that's the second thing that we are seeing from here like this. So from this one, the next thing is for us to state the formula for calculating the magnification of astronomical telescope at its normal adjustment. Remember, at normal adjustment, the focal length, the magnif uh, magnification of uh, astronomical telescope is same thing as f0 divided by fe. So from this one, you can have the value of magnification of it to be equal to 3.5, which is F0, divided by Fe, and that's same thing as what 5. So simplifying this one, you are going to get the value of, the value of your final answer to be the same thing as 0 0.7 uh, centimeter. Sorry, sorry, without units, right? It's going to be 0 0.7. Now, the next question we have here, which is fourth question, is the magnifying power of a telescope... The magnifying power of the telescope, here we are talking about astronomical telescope, in its, normal, in its normal adjustment is 20. So that should that we have the magnification of it to be equal to 20. If the length of the telescope is 105 centimeter, in, its, in this normal adjustment, find the uh, focal length of the two lenses. We are required to calculate focal length of the two lenses, meaning we are required to find the, the focal length of the eyepiece and we are required to calculate the focal length of the uh, objective lens. Those are the two things we are required to calculate in the question. And we are given the value of uh, mag uh, magnification m equals to 20, as we are going to be seeing along the line. So from this one, we have the value of m equals to 20, and we are given the value of length of the telescope to be same thing as 105 centimeter. Now, all I just have to do in this case is that, remember, the magnification of a simple, uh, simple uh, microscope uh, is given by the formula uh, m equals to f0 over fe. But what we are looking for is fe and f0. So all I have to do in this case first is that, substitute the value of m to be equal to 20 into this, into this formula. If you substitute it there, you are going to have the value of m, which is 20, to be equal to f0 over fe. So if you cross multiply in this case, if you cross multiply in this case, or if you multiply both sides by Fe, we are, you are going to have uh, F0, this is all going to be over 1, you are going to have F0 to be, same, to be the same thing as 1 times F0, that will give us F0, and that is equivalent to what? 20 multiplied by Fe, and that will give us a 20 Fe. So that's the first point you should note first. Then the second thing we have is that, remember that the value of length L, or the formula for calculating length of a telescope is given by L equals to F0 plus Fe. So just substitute the value of um, L to be equal to 105 and change the value of F0 to be equal to 20 Fe. So and that will give us L now, which is 105. I've replaced it to one of, uh, with 105 here. And my F0 from this simp uh, the simplification I have above here is equal to 20 Fe. So just change this F0 to 20 Fe that you have above. You are going to have 105 equals to 20 Fe plus Fe again. And 20Fe plus Fe, automatically, that will give us 21Fe uh, equals to 105, which I rearrange as 21Fe now equals to 105. Then divide both sides by 21. If you divide both sides by 21, you are going to have the value of uh, Fe to be equals to uh, 5 by dividing both sides by 21. So we have gotten the value of focal length of the eyepiece, which we are required to do. Then the next thing is for us to get the focal length of the objective lens. To get the focal length of the objective lens, Remember, from my simplification at this point, I said F0 equals to what? 20 Fe. So I will just replace the value of Fe I'm having here by 5. Then I'm going to have the value of my, of my F0 to be equal to a 20 centimeter. 20 multiplied by 5 centimeter, rather. 20 multiplied by 5 centimeter. Then from this one, I can get the value of F0 to be equal to what? 100 a centimeter like that so we have gotten the value of our fe remember to put your unit there to be in centimeter and you have gotten the value of uh gotten the value of f naught and that is what you are required to find uh, in the question so the practice question here this is why 20 uh 2017 question so i will i encourage you to try as much as possible to solve the question and see uh what you're going to get as a final answer and if you have any clarification of it, you can let me know and send a kind of your comment on the notification bar so from what uh, on the what on the comment section rather the first question here, you are required to draw and label astronomical telescope in its normal adjustment. I guess I've explained that one in my previous video. You are required to draw the, this one in such a way, uh, the telescope in such a way that the image is going to be formed at infinity. Then the second one we have is what? The angular magnification of, uh, uh, of an astronomical telescope in its normal adjustment is 5. 
if the focal length of the objective lens is 100 cm, we are required to calculate the value of the length of the eyepiece, uh, the focal length of the eyepiece, and we are required to calculate the length of the telescope. I guess this one is simplified enough. You can try as much as possible to make use of the formula that I've cited earlier to solve question on this one. As well, search for as many questions as possible inside one egg or use AMA past question to solve uh, to practice more questions under the topic. And that's all I have for us under this one. If you have any other question confusing you, you can always send it to me for clarification. So thank you for your audience. Don't forget to subscribe after watching this video.